Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 9th, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw those bulls at the end of the day pushing, and as a matter of fact, there was a surge right at the end of the day, um, pushing us up and um, giving some levity to the market after a really long period, several days of just very choppy price action overall in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and happy Friday. We have a market set up this morning where the bulls are pushing, trying to elevate us um, a little bit higher um, this morning. Let's take a look at the technicals in the chart, see if we can kind of glean some information from that and decide how we want to approach the market for today. So first off, I have to continue to point out just how extremely bullish these charts are uh, diamonds are very very bullish um, in this upside move and if i zoom that up a little bit um, you can see that we have extremely bullish patterns here um, in the chart there's nothing in this chart that suggests bearishness in any way shape or form however we do want to recognize the fact that we are quite elevated now the dow is not as elevated as the other indexes and what i mean by that is we are at least currently following trend however if we were to stumble there is some significant pullback that could occur but i got to tell you everyone um everybody and their dog every institution out there is singing in chorus uh the market's going higher the market's going higher um, um, this is the biggest boom we've ever seen. And so I kind of expect markets to continue to move to the upside. However, we don't want to become complacent here. Remember the higher and higher we stretch out, the PE ratios of this market are incredibly high. And we always have to remember, we don't want to become complacent because when this does come apart, um, it will likely come apart in a very painful and very ugly way. That said, I want everyone to be thinking, I have to stay with this trend as long as this lasts. I have to benefit from this as long as this lasts. And even though some of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and I understand that there's a lot of folks out there shaking their head going, this doesn't make any sense at all. I get it. We still need to stick with the trend because there are some beautiful charts out there and just a whole lot of charts setting up beautiful patterns. So stay with the trend, but don't become complacent. Remember, follow your rules very, very carefully and don't overtrade. And if you are nervous, make sure you're taking those profits quickly. Don't let greed get in the way of putting some of that money in the bank. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, I have to tell you, when we start looking at the stock or the SPY index, we can really see that extreme extended position that the market currently has. If we take a look, whoops, that tool changed on me here. Um, when we look at this extreme extended condition in the short term here on the SPY, look how far we are away um, it, um, from support. We just continue to stretch and stretch and stretch. There seems to be this desire, no price is too high to chase these stocks. Now, I want to point out that a good deal of this rally has been encompassed in just a very few companies, Facebook, Netflix, um, Apple, Google, Alphabet, those are the major drivers in this index right now. Um, uh, so many of the stocks over the last um, three days have just gone sideways to down while the big techs lift everything on their own. Now that's great as long as they continue to do that. This morning we are seeing bonds rising just a little bit and that we know has created some problems in that tech sector. So we're gonna to wanna to watch that closely if these big techs, those big five, 
big six companies stumble at all, we could see this market pull back and let's just envision how painful that might be. If we were to just pull back and come over here to trend, that could be a very, very painful pullback, particularly if you've over traded or chased too many trades into the market all at one time. So watch that closely. Just make sure we don't become complacent. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ is also displaying an extremely stretched position in this short term move. Notice how much we have rallied here in such a short period of time. Now that doesn't mean we can't continue to do that and I suspect the bulls are going to work really, really, really hard trying to push this out and gain a new record high in the NASDAQ. They, it's, it's just, um, it's incessant right now. We have to push, we have to push, we have to dive in and dive in and dive in on these stocks no matter how far they get stretched but i want to caution on that to be really really careful not to over trade these now just imagine a pullback that comes back here to test trend and support how painful that could be in the market and i'm not saying that's going to happen but we certainly have to be prepared for that possibility so be careful not to chase overextended stocks and then if we take a look at iwm now iwm kind of had a tough week. It recovered nicely yesterday, leaving a hammer pattern. And you can see in the pre-market, we're trying to push up this morning here. But notice that we have created a pattern in here that's not all that comfortable just yet, that possible head and shoulders pattern. But once again, with this relentlessness in the bulls as we continue to print and push so hard, um, for um, this inflationary move in the market, just kind of keep an, an eye on that resistance level. I would not um, um, think that the market would have too much trouble um, in a bullish move breaking up through there. However, if they do, just realize that it could be a rather painful pullback. If we were to fail here, um, a rather painful pullback to maybe test price support level in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX continues to be a little bit on the side of perplexing. Um, yesterday as at the end of the day as the market was um, shooting up um, that institutional push from the dark pools came in we also saw the VIX rally. So kind of an interesting situation here where we've got the VIX kind of holding in here. We really should see fear dropping, but the good news is that we did get overall just a little bit of decline in that VIX yesterday. So fear may be dropping out of this and it really needs to. If you trade options at all, you've been seeing an awful lot of market maker monkeying around with those options, spreading out the bid ass, um, um, tremendously, particularly at the close and uh, doing all kinds of things out there. They're showing their nervousness by trying to protect themselves doing that. So keep a close eye on this VIX. All may not be as great as it seems, but watch that closely. As long as we continue to drift lower, I think we're in pretty good shape overall. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 did open up some upside opportunity with this sideways move that we've seen in the market for the last three days. So keep a close eye on this. We have some upside opportunity and right now futures are pushing to the upside. As a matter of fact, Dow futures are really trying to get things going here this morning, trying to push up uh, about 100 points at the moment ahead of the PPI numbers. We'll talk about that in a minute. But um, keep in mind that we will be pushing right back up here into that bearish reversal zone in the chart where we're just showing that overextension um, in the market. Now that doesn't tell us that we necessarily have to fall. It just gives us that warning that, hey, perhaps we should be thinking about taking some profits, not chasing overextended stocks, being a little bit careful um, heading into the weekend. And so watch that closely as we continue to force the market higher here. Let's take a look at our T2101. And once again, guys, we are getting a little bit of a rally here um, last few days, but I continue, have to, I continue to 
uh, want to point out the fact that our absolute market breadth continues to be in this downside trend. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. I'm not sure what all this means. It, it, is, it is really a perplexing situation to see um, um, the VIX acting the way it's acting, to see uh, this relentless drive into stocks and just everyone out there just singing the praises. The market's just going to go higher and higher and higher all at once. That just makes me nervous. So be really, really careful and mind your rules. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we only have about one thing that really matters um, at all today on the calendar, and that's gonna be the PPI number coming out at 8.30. Now they are expecting that to come in pretty flat, you know, pretty stable with last um, the last reading. So may not be a problem at all here today, but we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then keep in mind, we have um, Fed speakers. It's like they just don't have enough opportunity to say stuff. They uh, seem to be talking all the time anymore. So um, of course, we want to pay attention to that, but I doubt we gain anything, any energy from that at all. Let's take a peek at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, um, there's about 12 companies on that earnings calendar, but I got to tell you, there's really nothing out there. Um, there's only, uh, of all the companies on the earnings calendar, there's only a couple um couple that have even verified those earnings reports and the only stock that i could really come up with that is somewhat notable um, today would be jks jks we might want to watch this earnings report we know solar has been one of those catchphrases for um, this new administration um, trying to move the needle on renewable energies and you can see it's been in a substantial pullback here recently um, holding a little bit of price support in here so this could be an interesting earnings event to see whether or not we're going to break back through that downtrend or if we're going to fall through that support and um, really start pushing this lower. So keep an eye on a JKS. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, um, in planning your day, trying to avoid the hype and being focused on what's really going on in the market, then please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate that, guys. Um, you are awesome. And I have to continue to shout out because um, folks are continuing to take advantage of the Buy Me A Coffee link that's just below the title of the video. Supporting the channel that way, I, I got to tell you, I'm truly humbled guys thank you so very very much um, um you guys are the best you really are um i truly appreciate all the subscribers and all the kind words um in support of of this effort to put out quality information for traders so thank you very much let's take a look at these stocks setting up and remember guys that as we look at these stocks they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security um, you must do your own due diligence make sure you're following your trading rules make sure you understand the risk of these trades if you decide to take a look at them let's look at steel dynamics stld now i gotta tell you i've been keeping an eye on steel and one of the reasons I am, of course, is because the federal government is moving forward with uh, um, their efforts to create a massive spending plan on infrastructure. And of course, steel will likely benefit from that dramatically. Take a look at STLD. STLD, beautiful chart, breaking through some resistance levels up here, trying to push through into some all-time highs. Take a look at this nice little resting pattern. We're moving up in a trend. We're consolidating this move, and I want to be watching for that next bullish action to show that that can push on through to the upside. You could also take a look at stocks like um, Cleveland Cliffs, 
um, U.S. Steel. All of these have um, some opportunity in, but I think right now one of the best looking steel stocks out there is Steel Dynamics, so keep a close eye on that. Now, another one that you might want to keep an eye on is MT. MT is also a very good looking chart. Um, moving up solidly, you see we still have highs that we could test out here um, in that chart. I'm going to go to a weekly and see we, we can move quite a little bit higher, but MT looking very very good in this little consolidation so watch for that opportunity that we could engage this trend out here soon and maybe pop on through i've placed an alert on that chart to keep an eye on it now switching sectors let's take a look at some stocks that have been kind of beat down uh qualcomm um had an ugly little sell-off here in that chart but notice we've kind of completed a bottoming pattern we're pushing up through this resistance in the chart and now we're trying to hold that so keep a close eye on qualcomm we do have to recognize the fact that there is price resistance just above here we've got this congestion in this area of the chart but i think qualcomm Qualcomm might be setting itself up for a little bit more upside in this move. Keep a close eye on it. You can see I've placed an alert here and I'm just looking for those bulls to kind of push on through and get that going. Uh, another chart um, stock that's been rather beat down that I mentioned the other day is um, AMD. And though AMD made a little bit of a bullish move through my alert, hasn't really gained a lot of energy yet. And that may be due to this really significant resistance level um, in the chart. But I think it's worth um, keeping an eye on and watching to see if this can benefit. Now, I think I would even prefer this stock a lot better if we could get ourselves up through this area and hold that as support. Then I might be more inclined to jump on that trade. But keep a close eye on it. It's worth watching. Um, I think um, we might want to keep an eye on um, some of these consumer defensive stocks. Take a look at TAP. Um, Coors here has been building this little base um, after breaking back through this um, resistance now holding it as support. And as we kind of chop out here toward the trend, I want to be watching for that next bullish move here on TAP. Keep a close eye on it. It may be about ready to do something here uh, to the upside. And I got to tell you, um, if we look at some of these other beverage companies, um, um, they are doing uh, uh, whoops. There we go. Nope. Well, all of a sudden, I'm drawing a blank on Monster. I'll think of it here in a second. But Monster uh, Beverage, um, really moving up. Let's take a look at Coke. I apologize for the senior moment there. All of a sudden, I can't uh, come up with the ticker. Um, if you take a look at Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola uh, just kind of resting here in this pattern. Here's this resistance high. Notice that this could be a substantial breakout if we could break through that up there. So as this rests out here and consolidates, I'll be watching that. Remember, these good old Divi payers have been doing extremely well in this market. So keep an eye on stocks like Coca-Cola. Um, seeming to, to do quite well overall. Let's take a look at Intel. Now, Intel has been a sloppy chart. There's just no doubt about it. This is an incredibly sloppy chart all over the place. Um, but you can see we're now trying to organize just a little bit an effort to push through this resistance level in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Intel, if it can get through this area, and as a matter of fact, if it can rest here, I might be watching for that pop through on that chart. You can see I first alerted here and that has certainly worked out. But watch this, if it can break through that resistance, Intel may be on its way back. Keep a close eye on that chart. I have been also keeping an eye here on MU. Micron has been dealing with this top in the chart and notice that in this latest little bit, we broke this little downtrend that we had here in the chart. Obviously, considerable volatility in here, but notice how we're just kind of resting. We're just kind of gliding along sideways here. And um, no real sellers in this position. So I want to be watching this. Perhaps a little bit more rest in here would help and then look for that opportunity to this pop, for this to pop through to that new high. Um, it's also possible we may want to wait for that 
uh, stock to go ahead and pop on through and then prove that it can hold this level of support before we um, look at a trade on that. But take a look at that, looking pretty good. You might want to take a look at Tyson. Tyson um, setting up here pretty nicely. As I was going through charts last night, um, studying, um, you know, for today, um, really, really like the way um, this chart is forming up. Now, I do have to recognize that we're dealing with some price resistance over here in this chart, but I think Tyson's looking pretty good in food products. And again, that consumer defensive sector has been very, very strong here recently. So you might want to watch this area. We've got this little W formation in here. We're just trying to gain that enough energy to pop on through. So keep a close eye on Tyson. Now you guys may have remember, I have mentioned Bloomin' a few times to keep an eye on Bloomin'. Um, was moving in this nice trend. And although we had this pullback, it looked like we might fail in this area. Notice we've re covered that and we're pushing right back up here in toward that price alert I have set on the chart. Any rest out here continues to set up that opportunity for Bloomin to the upside. Now other than those guys, I tell you, I just have a slew of companies that are potentially setting up. Take a look at XLV, um, breaking the downtrend here, consolidating over to trend, be looking for an opportunity in that. We could go to the financials, um, XL, whoops, XLF, um, in those financials, looking at that um, area right in here. Notice that we're trying to push higher today. I'm already in a position here, so I may have a bias on this, but keep an eye on that. I think financials could get a little bit of a rally. Remember, we're going to um, jump into um, um, second quarter earnings season here next Wednesday, and um, it's not uncommon to see a little bit of rally in anticipation of those um, events. So watch that close. Um, looking pretty good. I think we can even go to the energy sector um, to see that the energy sector could be setting up. Now, a little bit more of a struggle here, but this is an interesting chart in the fact that we have broken this really long-term um, um, downtrend in energy. And we're trying to hold, we're just trying to rest right in here on this area. So watch that close. If we can get a little bit of bullish energy coming in here, we could certainly see XLE perk up in here. And some of those energy companies are worth watching. Some of the um, uh, um, manufacturers of vaccines and consumer, um, again, defensive type stocks like Procter & Gamble. Very, very nice break of the downtrend. Notice that we broke through this resistance level. We're consoling, consolidating that and that opportunity to move higher in here looks really good. Take a look at KMI, a breakthrough of resistance, holding that support in here, holding over or sliding over toward trend. I would be watching this. This is a big breakout. Uh, watch this for some upside opportunity in KMI. We could look at J&J &J kind of the same way. J&J &J breaking back through some resistance. Not as nice a pattern in here, a little bit more bearishness in it, but keep a close eye on that. J&J &J could get, gain some energy and start to push on through. There are just so many of these stocks right now, guys. A lot of stocks in these nice little consolidating patterns looking very, very good. More than I can cover today. So hopefully you got a few stocks here that you could take a look at and some ideas that might help you in your trading. I want to wish everyone here a fantastic day, great profits in your trading, and probably more importantly, a wonderful, safe weekend. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great one, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Talk to you soon.